dear viewer let me take you back back to when every single person anticipated every single iron banner and back when the iron banner just didn't miss it brought great weapon after great weapon and most importantly it had badass armor this was the taken king era of the iron banner While the Taken King brought a lot of great things to Destiny 1, I'm interested in talking about the armor. And the question that I have for you today is, was this armor really that good? Or was it just overhyped by people on Twitter? Because in case you didn't know, these sets are coming back according to the last TWAB Bungie released. So that's why we're taking off the rose colored lenses and we're taking a look back at these armor sets to see what all of the hype is about. Quick little shout out to this channel right here because they archived what these sets looked like in Destiny 1 because I'm definitely not going to pay for PlayStation Plus just to go and look at these armor sets again. And with all of that being said, let's go ahead and start off looking back at the Iron Companion set for the Titan. And spoiler alert. And oh, I gotta tell you, it was perfect. Perfect. Everything down to the last minute details. And no matter which way I cut it, no matter which way I looked at this armor together apart, it is still amazing. And this was from a period before Bungie decided to bulk up Titans. I know what we're looking at right now is a female model, but the male model and the male armor set is still pretty thin. And I do understand that there are people out there that like the big shouldered tanky Warhammer like Titans, but understand that that isn't everybody. And I'm honestly just really happy to be getting that knight aesthetic back. We have gotten other armor sets that are like this in both Destiny 1 and Destiny 2. And while they're all great to use, none of them hold a candle to the Iron Companion armor. And it all starts with the helmet. The helmet that is as iconic as the Iron Banner itself. The helmet that actually looks like a knight would wear the Iron Companion helmet. And if there's any hill to die on, it is the hill that is this helmet is the best helmet in the Destiny franchise. Titan, Hunter, Warlock, I don't care. This helmet is absolute perfection. I think the only helmet that will give this one a run for its money would be the Hood of Exile because that one might be equally as iconic but like I said, I will die on this hill. I love how heavily inspired it is by medieval knights and the plume at the top is just awesome. And I really like the iron banner tree design that they put at the forehead of the helmet. The gauntlets may look simple at first, but when you start looking at all of the little design choices that Bungie made, and put on these gauntlets, you really start to appreciate them a lot more and you appreciate them because they're simple and because they're able to match with other armor pieces so easily. The chest plate is simple in design when you first look at it and it does share the design with other chest plates in Destiny 1 and possibly in Destiny 2, but what makes it special is all of the extra things that were added on top of it like the vents on the front of the chest plate the iron banner sigil and the lights going across the chest all of this is very aggressive styling simple but aggressive and because of that you won't find it difficult at all to use this with all of the other armor that you have in your inventory i would say the only weak points in this armor come from the legs and the mark. The legs look like a lot of other Destiny 1 armor and possibly a lot of other Destiny 2 armor and is replaceable. But even though I say that, I still do really like these legs. All of the other legs that we have gotten that looked like this still fall short of this. The design on the kneecaps and the asymmetrical design on the legs is very appealing. 
and the mark is honestly really awesome i like the little bath towel design the thing i don't like about the mark is just the waist belt but it doesn't really bother me and while it isn't the best mark out there it's still one of the good ones but yeah i'll give you my thoughts on it when the set actually releases on destiny 2 but for now i'm going to say that this set is near perfection and when it does come out you better log into destiny 2 because you do not want to miss this set as for the hunters the story is a bit different i know what you guys are truly after the cloak I know you guys and i know that the main reason you want this armor to come back is for that cloak if you can sacrifice every piece of this armor and only get that cloak you would and i really don't blame you guys because we've been talking about iconic armor pieces today in the iron companion helmet and the hood of exile and this cloak can stand right next to both of those at the beginning of destiny 1 i was only a titan main and i remember having so much envy for this cloak and so much envy towards the hunters for having it i really wanted the titans to get something similar just uh don't tell my dog i said that as for the arms i actually do like them despite them being pretty simple i like the shoulder pads and i like the iron banner tree design on them and they're pretty symmetrical except for there being knives on the right arm which is okay in my book these are definitely going to come in handy whenever you start thinking about mixing and matching these with other armor sets as for the helmet i always thought it looked pretty awkward staring at it from the front but whenever you look at it from the side it is definitely a lot cooler and just like the iron companion helmet it is heavily inspired by medieval knights which i always approve of i think with the right cloak people are going to make something really cool with this helmet especially those of you that like to make dark souls fashion now we move on to the chest plate i really like the little necklace that is going across the chest and i liked the iron banner sigil on the chest plate for the titan and i also like it here on the hunter it really reminds me a lot of the vest of exile from the trials of osiris so if you liked that vest you're going to like this one i feel like the boots are the weakest part of the armor set for a lot of reasons reason number one is when i'm looking at them now they seem really out of place don't they it has a lot of cloth compared to the rest of the set and not only that but in the background right now you're seeing someone switch through all of these shaders and they tend to shade a different color they don't really match the rest of the cloth on the set and that's a problem the people that are going to like these boots are the people that like the cowboy hunter fashion and if that's you then you're going to love them with the right shader they will definitely be helpful for your fashion otherwise you may just see these as kind of boring overall this set is going to be a great addition to your armor inventory for you to start mixing and matching with current destiny 2 armor sets i think once you start playing around with what you have you can make some great things with this especially that helmet and that cloak just for those two pieces alone you're not going to want to miss iron banner next season hey if you've made it this far that probably means that you're enjoying the video so go ahead and drop me a like and also consider subscribing all right so let's go ahead and move on to the final set which is the warlock and let me tell you boy is it nice and i'm going to come in hot on this one this warlock helmet is definitely one of my favorite helmets in the destiny franchise i'm not too big of a fan of these like rounded helmets that look all space and futuristic i want more knight helmets like this for my warlock and for those of you that like the dark souls fashion you're also going to love this helmet all right so let's go ahead and talk about the gloves and the bond the bond we have many like it these days in destiny 2 it's just your average projection bond but it has the iron banner wolf on it 
it's definitely not the best bond out there but it's definitely not the worst either i just hope that the transition between destiny 1 and destiny 2 we can actually change the color of the glow depending on whatever shader we have applied to it because as you can see in the background here the bond stays green no matter what shaders they apply to it the gloves on the other hand i had some questions about at first i didn't like them but now that i'm taking a second look at them i actually kind of do like them they most certainly aren't like the dendrite gloves with a lot of detail a lot of lights and a lot of really nice colors but these are simple yet they still have a lot of detail to them and a lot of character and i think i can see myself actually using these now i sort of feel like i'm going to have a different opinion from some of you here but these robes to me are nearly perfect this is what i want in a warlock robe the proportions are great nothing is too big and bulky i love all of the iron banner patterns on here the metal shoulder pads the chainmail arms the way that it shades everything about it i absolutely love i legitimately can't wait to start combining these robes with destiny 2 armor because i know people are going to make some amazing things and lastly we have the boots they feel like they're nothing special kind of in the same realm as the hunter boots where the actual boot part and the little shin guard is pretty cool but the rest of it is just kind of boring i'm not too big of a fan of this like green part right here in the like knee area and i don't really like the leather design towards the thigh area for the most part you really don't see any of the areas that i'm being picky about unless you have robes that are cut down the middle but i do sort of like them but i don't really see myself using them all that much overall like the other two sets the warlock set is going to be a can't miss armor you will feel some strong fomo in not having these pieces for me specifically my favorite parts are going to be the robes and the helmet and just like that we've reached the end of the video and we've reached the end of our refresher on the iron companion sets look guys these are coming back for a reason they were begged for for a reason these armor sets are still great each set does have its fair share of boring armor pieces to it but that's normal for armor and not everything has to be great but for the most part you are not going to want to miss iron banner next season and you will feel some extreme fomo if you do not get these armor sets but of course that is just my opinion and now i want to know yours so go ahead and leave me a comment down below which of these three sets is your favorite what do you think about them coming back to destiny 2 anything and everything let me know don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out if you want to see more videos like this and thank you so much to my patreon members you guys are awesome and without you i wouldn't be able to make some of these videos go ahead and click on any of the videos popping up in your end card now and as always stay beautiful